Uh, welcome back to DXB Today. Good to have your company this evening uh, as we are building the team, putting the team back together. Not that it was ever broken or anything like that, but we are, we're we working a bit more on team building and seeing how you can enhance yours at the moment. Uh, and we're now going to speak to Marilyn Zakur. Marilyn is the CEO and the founder of the brilliantly named Cosmic Centaurs. You know where I'm going to go first, don't you, Marilyn? You, you know going to ask me why I called it that? I am going to ask you, why did you call your company Cosmic Centaurs? All right. Well, I started this company in April 2020. And what were we doing then? We were all on Zoom. Mm. And so this was a bit of a joke about the fact that we were all going to be wearing corporate shirts and pajama bottoms oh, yeah. <laughs> while being connected oh. to each other virtually. So yeah. we would all be centaurs. Oh, oh very there nice indeed. And the Cosmic? Well, <laughs> Everybody was using this background where they looked like they were floating in outer space. And I think post pandemic, we're all in one way or another a cosmic centaur. So what have we learned from the pandemic? Obviously we learned that a lot of things got online. We, 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 worked, we learned that we could learn, we could work, mm -hmm. we could do everything online. But what did it teach us about our team building? Well, actually, I'd like to argue that we also learned that we know how to connect online. You gave the example earlier of playing video games. I think if you look at e-gamers, if we look at online communities, if we look at global companies, we do have to operate together as humans sometimes at a distance. Mm. And we learned that if we put in the right level of intentionality, if we put in the right rituals, even though for sure it's not the same kind of high fidelity interaction as an in-person interaction, we still know how to build connections even if we're not in the same room. Mm. The, the, the line high fidelity interaction is just <laughs> wonderful. And I noticed that you walked in holding some cards mm -hmm. and you immediately gave them to Thomas. And I want to know what's going on. What are we doing here today? Yeah, so one of the ways in which we build teams actually is to develop something called mutual knowledge. Okay. So it's how much I know about you and how much you know about me. Okay. That can be our working styles, our feedback preferences. It can also be stories from our childhood, our favorite foods, our favorite trees. And so during the pandemic, we saw that human connection and loneliness was such a big issue mm. for most people. And we wanted to help the companies that we support help their teams build connection. And one of the simplest ways that doesn't require any fancy equipment, doesn't require a budget, is just asking each other questions that go beyond the work interactions Ooh. and then listening to the answers. Okay, go on then, Tom. I'm really scared. Yeah, let's give you a best shot, Tom. <laughs> talk amongst yourselves, I'll pick a card, all right? Pick a card, any card. Talk right. amongst yourselves. So talk us through this. It's literally, he's literally just going to pick a card. That's the idea, right? Yes, so we have four categories in this because that's the version that's for teams. And two of them are related to work and two of them are related to your personal story and your personal preferences. <laughs> Go on, Alicia. The Go pressure. for a red one, yeah. The pressure. Oh, it's exciting. You? Sure, I can ask you the okay. question. I'm happy to facilitate. These are the, the cosmic conversations. Fa ask Faris first, ask Faris first. He's got a big grin on his face and I want to ruin it. All right, <laughs> tell me about your best friend. What do they bring to your life? Ah, oh, <sighs> my best friend <laughs> is a fella called Mejd and he's great uh, because he's one of those friends that whenever there's something like, do you want to come with me? He's immediately, yes. He's not like, I'm too busy or I can't be bothered, I'm too tired. He's like, yes, because you're going to be there. And I think that's really good Aww. in a best friend. Alicia? Oh. Bad things, probably. Oh. No, good Partnering things that are, Yes, there we go. <laughs> good, us doing, we're really good at doing bad things. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. That's all the same. Go on, Tom. Have oh, you got any friends, me, Tom? Is this uh, is your errand friend, your drive away car friend. <laughs> my oldest friend, my best friend in the world, is a guy I went to school with, so a long, long, long time ago. Uh, we don't speak to each other for maybe a couple of years um, at a time, but when we get back together, it's like we're back at school. Right, yeah, it's perfect. And we do some really bad things. No, guys, <laughs> guys. Uh, my best friend is uh, Sam. I've known her since we were at school together when we were two. And now we're a lot older than two. Um, she's still in the UK and I've lived here 16 years. She's afraid of flying. She's been here once and it was the best time ever. Aww. But as you say, so you can be disconnected, especially in an expat community, and you can be together. Sam, this is your invitation to join us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But see, now yeah. I know Majid and Sam, and I can ask you questions about what you're up to when you saw your friends, and suddenly we have something new to connect about. You notice that Alicia never gave the name of her That's partner true. in crime. <laughs> <laughs> Not until the investigation. Not until the investigation's, <laughs> investigation's pending. But this is really interesting. So how do people you know, get in touch with you and reach out to you? And, wh sure. and why would people get, reach out to you? you like how big does their team need to be tell us a little bit more about that I mean I don't think there's a limit to the size of a team a team can be as small as four people or as big as I mean 
usually teams go up to 10 or 50 and beyond that it's a department or a function yeah so um, I mean you can find these cards on Amazon on our website etc but um, the work that we do is not just the team building piece we do what's called organizational development which is actually helping leaders identify what's getting in the way of their companies delivering and then unblocking those things for them well, I know people, they come to you for team building activities, for cards just like this. I'm sure there's, as Alicia said, a time set out, a timetable. But what about day-to-day -day team building exercises that they can walk away with? Oh, I absolutely love that question because actually one of the things about team building is if you just keep it to that occasional quarterly, we go out, we have a budget for this, then that's really not enough. Team building is a day-to-day -day thing. And on our website, actually, we have what we call a ritual bank. So we're firm believers in repetitive things. Like you walk in every morning and you intentionally ask how you're doing. You pick up one of these questions. You do retrospectives to reflect on how can we be better together as a team. So there's a lot of these rituals that you can uh, either invent or refer to that you can integrate into daily, weekly or monthly activities that really help to bring people together. Tommy, you're all right. You've been looking at those cards for a <laughs> I'm while. Just, I'm just, you know, I, I'm working out which ones I can answer and which ones I can't. So mm. uh, we're, there are a few I can't. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, and I, I'd like to add, we created Cosmic Conversations for families as well. I think like your family is your first team if you're lucky enough to have them that around you. That's such a lovely way of saying it. Yeah, and uh, you know, oftentimes we come, you know, your kid comes back from school and you say, what did you learn today? That's but maybe the there's a lot of other oh. things that they want to tell you and you never ask. So we created a version for families. Yeah, Marilyn Zakura, thank you so much for being on DXB today and oh. with Cosmic Centaurs. But now, Alicia, we're going to put you in the hot seat, right? because we have a little quiz for you. Well, not a quiz. We want to get to know you as quickly as possible. It All is right. time for today's DXB in 60. So 60 seconds, quick fire questions. Don't think about it, Alicia. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're going to have 60 seconds on the clock, starting in three, two, one. If you weren't in the wellness industry, what would you be doing? Something with sneakers. I used to love sneakers so much. OK, interesting. What's the one thing you cannot live without? Peace. Oh, love. Um, what is your sort of most recommended sort of fitness or wellness activity? Just the one to tell anyone. Um, squat and get up. Nice. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, do you have a hidden gem in Dubai? Oh, um, a couple random hidden gems. Hit me. Um, I would say there's a spot on Kite Beach that is right next to maybe some rocks, but it's like the perfect angle that you could get film, you could be secluded. Your 60 seconds is running out. And uh, you can take somebody there, you know. That you, place. They mean special. <laughs> I guess somebody special. Right, okay, quickly, your motto in life and in work. Don't take things personal. Oh, that's nice. We are out of time, and that actually is perfect. Don't, th don't take things too personally. And that actually kind of is great to wrap up for today because that's kind of team building right don't take it yes, too personally exactly alicia tillman thank you so much for being our guest co-host thank today. you thank you all right but for now we are very excited for our performer the 15 year old celine d matahari is going to be here very very soon don't go anywhere <laughs>